I'm going to show you how you can import a schedule of appointments from Excel into Outlook. Um, depending on what your data looks like, uh, you might have to do a couple of things. So if your data looks like this one on the left here, um, click over here now to jump ahead to that part of the video. If your, your data looks like this here with some um, blank spaces in it, um, I'll show you how to get rid of them first. So stick with me. Okay, so this data has got gaps in it, which we need to get rid of. One of the ways to do this is to set up a filter. So highlight your data and click on filter. You'll see some little drop little arrows um, appear here for drop downs. If um, I want to get rid of these blank um, appointment times, it's got the date there, but no times, um, or maybe you have times there, but you don't have locations. Uh, you can just click on one of the down arrows here and click on blanks to unselect it. If I go OK, it actually shortens the whole list and gets rid of all those blanks there. The blank over here is fine because it's for a category um, which I am uh, not going to worry about too much um, for that one because it's a, it's a different kind of meeting. You can see in my example I'm doing this, um, it's like a school timetable, just a very short one obviously. Um, just to give you an idea of how of uh, what, what sort of context this could be done in. So now that I've got my data here, I am um, going to copy it. So you can uh, right click and copy or um, copy however you normally do. And then I'm going to get a new spreadsheet, completely new one, and paste it in. And now it's no longer got the filter, all of those blank ones have been left out. and we're ready to go. Oh, I just realized that there's no room number for that. So I'll just give that a room number. I'm not pretend it's in that room. Okay, so let's have a closer look at how I've got these uh, columns named here. Um, they could be named differently, um, but if you have exactly the right name, it just makes it a little bit easier. So um, maybe we should have a look at what a, a regular appointment looks like when you're in Outlook. If you're familiar with Outlook, and presumably you are, um, you know that for an appointment you've normally got subject, location, start time, end time, and then you've got the body of what's happening. Um, so we've got subject, location, start time, end time, and I've got a column here called start date because obviously I want these to go into the right day. I've got mine in categories, so I've put them here. If you don't have categories, that's fine. You don't need this column. Um, so the next step then for me is um, I'm going to go back here into Excel. Okay, I have to highlight this area and then I have to click on the formulas tab and I have to click on define name. And it doesn't really matter what it is. It's just something you have to do before you can um, import this into Outlook. So I just do that and click on OK. And I guess what it does is it tells um, the program when we're importing it that this is the part of the sheet we're looking at. Okay, so now I'm going to save this. So I go to File, Save As, and I'm going to give it a name. Um, just call it something that I'm going to remember. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And I don't leave it as a default workbook. I need to save it as CSV, comma, delimited. Click on that, Save. This warning message comes up. Click OK, and Yes. And I'm done with that. I can shut it down now. In fact, I need to shut it down for the next step. Uh, I've already saved it, so don't worry about it. You can just click on Don't Save. Next, I need to open up Outlook and get into my calendar. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this and you've already got lots of stuff in your calendar and you don't want to mess it up by putting other stuff in, you could do a test drive by making a new calendar. Just right click on Calendar, add Type New Calendar, and call it Test. Go OK. And then select the test calendar and unselect your calendar calendar and there we have a nice blank calendar that I can use as a bit of a sandbox to test this out. Okay, so now we're ready to import. I go up to File, Open, Import. Now um, the default here is to import from another program or file. That's what we're doing, so that's great. Click Next. Now this is where we get to choose what we're doing here. We have just made a CSV file comma separated values windows so I'll click there go next now I need to find my file so if I go to my desktop and I called it uh, calendar export didn't I calendar import there it is open 
next. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're putting it in test, next. The following actions will be performed. Now, if you've named your columns with something different, you've got to go to map custom fields. And you can see these are the fields that it is mapping to in my appointment. These are the fields I had as in the, the top rows in my Excel document. So these need to match up and you can see it's matched it up automatically. If I had a different name, uh, if I had a different name for each of these things, so if I just had start, finish or something like that, I could just drag them across. But since I, I went to the trouble of getting naming them correctly, it has mapped them correctly, I think. Or is there one? Oh, I called it category, but it's categories. So just drag it across. There you go, okay, and finish. And it takes a, a moment to do that. Now, hopefully this has worked. So let's just see, what days did I have in there? Aha, look at this. It has put in my appointments for those dates there. I think I just changed it to the week, here we go. Had some of them on a Sunday. So if you had a school timetable, it would have populated your timetable for you. Um, so there you go. That's how you import from Excel into Outlook.